hey everyone so in the previous lecture we got this express server up and running now let's go ahead and initialize prisma so if you go onto the docs and click on quick start you can find out the commands from here so first install the prisma so we'll copy this command and quit this development server and install prisma and this hyphen hyphen save dev will install it in a development only environment so after this uh, we will initialize it using npx command which is npx prisma in it so this command will like create two things one this prisma directory and when this environment file which is dot env and if you open this dot env file you can find this connection database url so it's currently using postgres but uh, we'll be using mysql and inside this prisma directory we have the schema dot prisma file here uh, we'll define the configuration of the database and all the models so currently it's using postgres but we'll be using mysql so let's go ahead and see how we can uh, use mysql so inside this getting started you'll see this prisma migrate click on it and if you'll scroll you'll find this heading uh, database connectors and click on mysql and the provider you will say it will be uh, mysql and we'll be also we'll also have to change the database url so if you'll scroll you can find the database url here just copy it and paste it here now uh, here is a quick tip like if you are working in a real world project so it all, it's always like a good practice to validate these environment variables before deploying your code or like write some script which will validate like whether uh, this is defined or not so it will save a lot of time and some runtime errors as well like something is failing on the production server from from something being undefined i know some uh, modern frameworks uh, do the same thing i am like aware of adonis js it does the same thing let me show you adonis js environment validations so uh, you can read it here uh, why to validate the environment variables uh, we can just give the rules here and it will validate and it will fail to like start in the development only if any of the environment variables is not defined so you can write your custom scripts as well but as of now we'll go at like this only so for this video i have created one database uh, on my local which is yt prisma by the way, I'm using a SQL Ace. So you guys can use Workbench or SQL Ace. Uh, user will be root. Password will be password. Host will be localhost. Port will be, I guess, 3306, which is default for MySQL. And database will be YT Prisma. Now, uh, after this, uh, in order to verify like everything is working fine let's go ahead and create one table now uh, in order to create table uh, you can go ahead and see the documentation prisma schema like it will show you how to define the schemas and all so we'll define a simple schema here and uh, let's call it as article and it will be having one id uh, which will be of type int now if you are like you can also use big int but we'll stick to int here it will be id and it will be auto increment i guess yep and if you want to see like how all those all these uh, things can be found in the documentation you can go on to the references and inside the references there is this link prisma schema references and you can find all the supported data types here all these annotations so yeah now let's go ahead and define this 
which will be default to auto increment we will be having a title field which will be string we will be having one content which will also be string uh, we'll be having one state like whether this article is published or in draft mode so we'll be using enum for that so if you will scroll down a little bit you'll see that uh, here is the enum so to use enum first we have to define one and then we have to pass it as a data type so let's define one we will call it as article state so one will be draft and other one will be published now uh, it will have a state it will be of type article state uh, we will have two date time fields as well which will be created and updated at created at it will be date time and updated at it will also be date time and since these two fields will be like updated automatically so let's go ahead and define the configuration for that so it will be default to now so now is a function in prisma which will uh, which will assign the current timestamp to this field and for the updated at i guess uh, it was at the rate updated at so yep so it will automatically store the time when a record was last updated so yep uh, that's all what we need for the article table now let's go ahead and define this uh, like try to run the migration so the command will be npx prisma migrate dev now in order to like run these migrations on your local it's recommended to use this command because this commands create a shadow database tries to run all the migrations there if something fails it will prompt you with an error and if some like if everything works successfully then only it will run the migration on your actual database but this command is never recommended in the production so do not use it on your prod server it's only for development in order to like figure out the errors during the development time only so let's go ahead and run this it will ask for the migration name i will say at say it as create article stable so it says that your database is now in sync with your schema so if i go on to my client uh, sql ace and i try to refresh my database you can see that there are two tables one is article table and also like in the next lecture you'll see how we can change the name of this table because article is not a good name it should be pure like articles and this uh, prisma migrations like it is for internal use of prisma it keep track of all the migrations which have been applied to the database and you can also like insert from here and in the state we since we have given a enum you can see that it's giving uh, two options which is draft and publish so everything is working fine now uh, in the next lecture we will see like why we have created the migrations why don't we just go into the database and like in the client and create the data tables directly and modify all those things we'll see how migrations work what are the benefits of using migrations in the next lecture so yeah uh, in the next lecture we'll discuss more on this and we'll see how we can insert create read and update using prisma client so stay tuned for the next one